Hi guys, welcome back to another drama video. You guys should have seen this one coming because, well, this is the most recent drama in the Brony fandom, I think. Uh, even though this isn't, like, super big, it's, yeah. So, you know what, let's just jump into it because I'm, I don't know what the fuck to say. Uh, Brandon the Brony Pony. What a stupid name, by the way. Um, Brandon, uh, <laughs> So, if you guys don't know who Brandon the Brony Pony is, he's not popular at all. Not in the slightest, don't worry. He's not a popular person. But he's been recently found out to be a predator. Oh, what a surprise, right? A Brony being a predator. What a fucking surprise. Um, yeah, he was found out to be a pedophile, and... The reason why I'm making a video on him... This is gonna be a different video, by the way. Don't expect me to show you evidence or whatever. If you guys want evidence, there's going to be like 10 or 15 different links down in the description. If you guys want to go check out uh, any videos that I find of Brandon that show the evidence in the videos. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to be... T this is more of a video towards Brandon Brandon his himself. Uh, so, I know there's going to be people, of course, that's going to watch this that isn't Brandon, but... Yeah, Brandon, the fuck, dude? <laughs> what what the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously. Like, like, okay. So, uh, answer me this, guys. Why do the, why, I don't understand this. Why do predators get, like, why do they get a, like, sensation out of going after kids? It's like these people wake up one afternoon, or in the morning i don't know when the fuck these people decide to go after kids but they just wake up one day like oh i want to have sex with a a little boy or a little girl i just want to have sex with them because you know that's normal no it isn't you fucking no no you you disgusting disgusting human you're not even human at this if you're a predator there's no way you're a fucking human i'm just saying no normal human being is out there thinking Huh, I think I'm gonna fuck a child. No, <laughs> that shit doesn't happen, dude. So, Brandon, tell me this, buddy, because I know you're gonna try to take this video down, dude. Trust me, I have my ways of keeping this video up, so test me. Fucking come and test me. You're gonna try to take it down, dude. I know you. So try it and see what the fuck happens. It's not gonna be taken down, trust me, because I know YouTube dealt with predators before and they don't like remember what happened with youtube and a bunch of predators were on youtube and people were telling youtube off like crazy and i don't think youtube is going to protect you this time buddy once i tell them what you've done so yeah come at me bro and see who the fuck's gonna win so yeah i just, I just don't understand what these predators what goes on in their minds that thinks uh, they want to have sex with a child i it just doesn't add up to me and especially in the fandom that I'm a part of, this is disgusting. This is fucking foul. Like, as a brony myself, it is disgusting to see these people roaming around in this fandom, like, scot-free. Like, it's d just so bad, bro. I know a lot of uh, bronies now are, like, getting down to business and actually doing some against these pedophiles now, but we should have done this back in 20 fucking 11. We should have been protecting these kids in this fandom back in 2011. Like, oh my god, dude. We shouldn't have started, like, after, it seemed like this all started, like, Bronies actually gave a shit. This all started back when Toon Critic was found out because he was so popular that, oh no, big popular guy in fandom be, is a predator, so now we have to do shit about it. Uh, it just pisses me off that once a popular person does something bad, that's when people start caring. It's just disgusting. And I know, Brandon, you're not popular in the slightest. You're not even close to being popular. Thank God. You don't need popularity because of how disgusting you are. Um, but you're just a sick human, dude. Like, I don't know what to say about you. I just hope you rot in hell. Like, I know these words probably don't mean anything to you, dude, but I don't care. I I just like tearing you people apart, because if I ever meet you in real life, which 
Pray to God I don't. I might kill you, dude. I, I'm sorry, but YouTube is probably going to take this down now that I supposedly threatened him. But YouTube, come on. You have to be on my side for this. He's a fucking child predator. Come on, let me just kill one dude. <laughs> I probably won't, guys. I'm just saying that because I'm very pissed off. But I just hope you. Go I hope the police find out and you go to jail, dude. I like how uh, also Chris Hansen also literally Chris Hansen. You know the guy to catch a predator. Chris Hansen himself also talked about Brandon. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, Brandon, you're fucked, dude. <laughs> Chris Hansen's on your ass, so he knows about you. So good luck, good luck in life right now, my guy. Um, yeah. Also, Br Brandon, guys, is he's not just a predator and all that. He's just a very weird individual. Like, yeah, all of us humans are weird. We got our own kinks. We got our own like weird shit that goes on. Hopefully inside of our houses and not out in public. Please don't take your weird ass shit out in public. God, hell no. But we all have our weird like little nits and picks here and there. But Brandon, putting it on. Sorry, I had just had an ad. You guys didn't see it, but uh, sorry. Uh, Brandon, putting it on YouTube for a thousand for everybody to see not even just thousands but everybody to see all your weird shit that you do is honestly just creepy he's a creepy dude uh, i'll tell you a little story in a minute guys but brandon's a very interesting character i'm just gonna say that without being too mean he's he's creepy <laughs> i'm just gonna say that um he has an unhealth a very unhealthy and very creepy uh obsession with starlight glimmer from my little pony he's he's oh god i don't even want to go into that he probably has a body pillow of starlight that he fucks every night and oh god i don't want to think about that but yeah he has a very unhealthy like he thinks starlight's real and all that and he wants to actually marry it's weird <laughs> uh i know that's probably being a bit harsh but i know it's a fictional character and all that but uh, it's just creepy. Like, yeah, I'm... I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with Rainbow Dash, but... You you know... You, you guys know me. Sorry, I can't really talk today. I don't know why. But you guys know me, and I really like Rainbow Dash, but I'm not, like, obsessed with her or anything. I just think she's a really cool character from My Little Pony, and that's it. I don't have a body pillow of her. I don't have a poster of her that I jerk off to every night that probably... Brandon does with his starlight he you should see how much starlight like merch he has of her it's honestly disturbing but yeah I have posters of Rainbow Dash and all that I have a plushie of her but I don't fucking jerk off to it every night being like oh my god I don't do that shit because I'm a normal human being and I have a healthy uh liking towards a fictional character and plus I know it's a fictional character dude like I, I don't I just don't understand people that like that shit that goes for any fandom though people that are obsessed with a fictional character and they like think of dirty things with them <laughs> I just don't see that it's weird to me so yeah Brandon's an interesting character so also you guys probably know him on this channel because I reacted to one of his videos the brony meets equestria brony meets ponyville whatever his shitty series that apparently flopped because he didn't even make his second episode. It was only one episode. Your series is ass, man. So I don't care. It's ass. Never make a second video. But I reacted to one of his video, that video, the Brony meets a question or whatever the fuck it's called. And that's when he got in contact with me. And he, our conversation was very weird back and forth. It wasn't nothing sexual, because if it was, I would have reported him. I'm not a minor myself, so he probably wouldn't have been sexual with me because I'm not a minor. He'd been like, oh, uh, Blaze is too old for me to have sexual relations with. I need somebody younger, like a 15-year-old. Because if you guys didn't know, that's his victim's age. His victim's age was 15, almost 16 years old. So, uh, yeah, anyways... Yeah, he got in contact with me after that video, I think like two or three days after the video, and he's like, oh, hey, Blaze. I'm like, oh, hey, Brandon, nice to see you here. I wish I wouldn't have said that, but 
And then we had a little conversation. Then he actually invited me to a Discord call. Yeah, I know. We just met, and he invited me to a Discord call to talk about Brony Meets Equestria and how Episode 2 is. I, I know. It was weird. I don't know. And knowing my dumbass, uh, I accepted it. I jumped in the call and talked with him and all that. And throughout the whole thing, I shit you not, I had a weird feeling about this dude right when I jumped into that call. I had a very weird feeling about him. I don't know, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And I just, he gave off pedophile vibes. So, I don't know, he's just a weird dude. So, yeah, we were talking back and forth like normal, I guess. He wasn't doing anything that I f like, felt uncomfortable with. Like, during the call, we were, he was just talking about, like, behind the scenes and how his green screen affects. And because I was saying in my video that, oh, this could have been improved on and this was kind of cool. This could have been improved on, blah, 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 like, shit like that. And, yeah, he was just talking about how he did it and how he's improving in the second episode, which didn't come out. But, because I think all this drama kind of made little little boy brandon cry in the corner and not jump back on um on online and social media and stuff that's the funny thing he's too big of a bitch baby to come back online and actually put an apology out but he he has the balls to take down videos talking about him like yeah go fuck yourself dude i know i'm cussing a lot this video i'm sorry i'm just pissed off at brandon but yeah so the discord call was going on uh i know i'm jumping back and forth guys sorry but yeah, the Discord call, he was talking about stuff, and then we ended it, and then we talked like normal. And then, uh, then all this stuff came out, and that's when I just, it, it was weird. It, our conversation was weird. I wish I could show you guys it, but I think I blocked him, and I deleted everything relating to him, so I don't have anything, uh, relating to our conversation anymore. So, yeah, sorry, but, yeah, it was just a weird thing, I don't know. I wish I never talked to the dude, but, you know, you win some, you lose some, I guess. But, yeah, and in Brandon's case, you win, you don't win any, you just lose everything. So, yeah, uh, Brandon, 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 this is for you, my guy. Honestly, I think you're way too far from getting help because I don't think a therapist will look at a person that jerks off to a fictional horse as somebody redeemable. And, yeah, somebody that jerks off to a fictional horse and tried to ERP with a 15-year-old, I don't think a therapist would look at that and be like, yeah, he's redeemable. No, I, I think you're too far from help. The only help you can get right now is probably jail time. That's the only help that I can give you. Just go to jail, my guy. Please, just turn yourself in. I don't know, just... Just get off of the internet, delete all your social media, do not come back. Just get the fuck off and never come back. We do not want you. We, do, The Brony fandom has made it clear that we do not want you. And if they haven't made it clear here, I'll speak for the Brony fandom. We do not want you, Br Brandon. We don't want you. Get the fuck out. That's pretty much what the Brony fandom wants right now, is you out. We do not want you. So please just leave, get out, we don't care. So yeah guys, um, I'm probably just going to end the video here because uh, yeah, it's been going on for 13 minutes, going on 15, so, or 15, oh 14, sorry, Jesus. I'm bad at math guys, I'm bad at math. So yeah, that was the video on Brandon. For you guys, especially the miners out there, please stay away from people like this. It is very dangerous, even though you never physically meet the person. It can still fuck you up in the long run. That's why you don't talk... Like, especially your favorite YouTubers and all that. This goes for me, too. Do not, like... You do not want to meet us in real life. We're just content creators. Ugh, sorry. We're just content creators. We're making content for you guys to enjoy. We're not here for you guys to want to meet in real life and be friends with we're just here to entertain you guys this is for the minors out there and for the adults i guess but you guys should be smart enough to understand this kind of stuff but you minors you guys need to be very 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 careful online just please be careful that's all i ask so yeah guys i'm gonna end the video here and yeah i'm just gonna go rethink everything because <laughs> this shit's retarded 
so yeah guys i uh, will see you guys in the next video and yeah the links will be down in the description for the actual evidence if you guys want to go check it out please go check those out before you come to this one if you want uh that's your decision but yeah guys i'm gonna see you guys in the next video it's gonna be way better than this trust me so yeah see you guys in the next video peace out guys